the city. Fires continue to burn everywhere. Troops are shooting people. My God, I, I don't know why there's a woman dying in front of me. about who or what started the chaos. such power. It, it is beyond our capabilities. Yes, I understand. You are the power, and it is my duty to serve you. Our brothers? But they are long since dead. How can I help them? A journey through time. A portal to return to our first war years. Yes. Yes. Those who inhabit the Earth, some will be our slaves. The rest will have never been born. Mana, the Eternal has given me the formula for conquest. And I will have the privilege of carrying it out. It will alter the history of our race. But how will this be done? He requires us to start now. Prepare the medical area. I'll require all laboratory technicians with knowledge of the human immune system.
Now we begin the next phase. Looks like we're in for another storm. Yeah. Let's not get caught in it. Come on. In other news, a bizarre twist on robbery. Police are calling them the vampire break in In what was a well-orchestrated attack, four city blood banks and several blood bank trucks were attacked earlier today and valuable supplies of blood taken. Also under investigation is the disappearance of four employees of the city's blood bank. That's really gross. What would anyone want with a lot of blood? Sell it, most likely. We interrupt this program to bring you a weather alert. There is a severe weather warning in effect for the city. Hurricane conditions on the eastern seaboard have moved rapidly inland, affecting weather patterns across the country. People are advised to remain indoors until the warning is lifted. We repeat, there is a severe weather warning in effect until further notice. It's unbelievable out there. Scientists speculate that the unusually high tides, which have caused major damage to the Gulf Coast, could be related to a planetary alignment that occurs only once in several centuries. This is Kevin Fox reporting for Quadrant 7. Power lines are down and cars have been abandoned all along the interstate. Flood warnings are in effect for the east end of the city, while gale force winds continue inland. We will keep you posted. That's it. My watch has stopped. Yeah, mine's dead too. Mom, what's happening? Nothing, honey. It's just a power failure. I'll get the backup systems. You get the candles. Okay. of rock and roll? Yeah. Did you and Mom really like that stuff? You know, the sock hops, bebops? Give me a break. We were born too late for sock hops. What was it like back then? I mean, it must have been nice and normal. Yeah, we had fun. You know, in those days, those days they delivered everything right to your door. You had fish, and groceries, and newspapers, and, and milk, and big glass bottles. Yeah, you're making that up. I am not. So in the neighborhoods in the summertime, they had uh, ice cream trucks. They came around, and uh, the vendors wore these white uniforms. You know, I've always wanted to learn how to do one of those dances that you and Mom always talk about. Sometime I'll teach you. But now you got to finish your homework. It'll be part of my homework. Yeah, right. The invasion force was killed by a specific microbe. The serum will render the bacteria harmless and repair those infected. The serum is ready. In order for you to return to us, you must complete your task within a period of 12 hours. After that time, the electromagnetic distortion will end as the energy from the supernova passes out of the Earth's orbit. 12 hours to find them, inoculate them, and return. It'll have to do. It must succeed.
lightning storm with no rain and high winds lightning and thunder and never any rain that's exactly what norton said the last time this happened it's also what dr forrester was writing about in 1953 magnetized watches electrical storms power outages it can't be it can't what are you talking about another invasion Each of you is charged with a specific role. The Eternal has created this moment for us, and we will not fail him. We'll bring about a new era on this diseased planet. Our brothers are waiting. It's not random lightning. It has an epicenter. Keep driving East, Kid Kate. It's got a tremendous displacement of energy. It's like it's like a black hole. Nothing has registered like this since we left the safe house. Have you thought what we're going to do if this is an invasion force? How are we going to stop it? I don't know yet. Look, we could be driving into an alien combat zone, and all you can say is, I don't know. The reading's getting higher. It's off the scale. Blackwood, we're a guerrilla unit, in and out. We've been lucky so far. If you're nervous, get out. Look, you're not thinking, man. What good are we if we're dead? Kincaid, somebody has got to be there to observe this. Don't bother. It's not going to start again. Let's go. Up there.
remember, you must keep track of time. Twelve hours. Where the hell are we? Eisenhower I'm not sure. Major Hill alien devastation. Read all about it. It's 1953. This is my hometown, Kincaid. I was born here. No, it's some kind of illusion. It's gotta be a no, it's no illusion. We're here. This is real. Uh, you want that paper, mister? Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Uh, how about your change? You keep it. Gee, thanks. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Miss Watson. Thanks. You know, one of these days, you'll be on page one. Mm, I hope you're right. What's this? What? Some counterfeit or something, isn't it? Where'd you get this? From those guys. Trade ya. I'll be frank with you, my friend. It's like the old joke. You can't get there from here. Money's not a problem. <laughs> Ain't a question of money. Why the hell you want to go out there anyway? My home's there. Oh. Uh, well, the whole area's dead. It was incinerated during the invasion. Are there still people living out there? Yeah, the army. Between you and me, that tin pot general man didn't do a damn thing to stop the Martians. I'll bet there's still aliens holed up near Linda Rosa. If it's true, my money's on the aliens. Sorry, pal. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. First of all, we're in the House of Mirrors. Then we're in 1953. What the hell have they done? I don't know. The invasion ended five days ago. Now, why would they want to come back here after they've been defeated? Hey, don't look at me. I followed you. Dr. Forrester said the aliens weren't all killed, at least not right away. So they sent someone back either to get something or bring something to them. Trouble is, how are we going to find it? That's no, not our only problem. Yeah, I know. How are we going to get back? That alien is probably our only ticket out of here. If we don't find them, that's it. We're stuck here. Great. Any more good news? Yeah. Whatever we do here directly affects the future. Our future. So what are the rules? I don't know. I need more information. I'm going home. What? Home, Kincaid. Dr. Forrester's house, where I grew up. Come on. Harrison! Harrison! This is the house you grew up in? Yeah. That's Sylvia. She raised me when my parents were killed. You okay with this? Mrs. Forrester. Yes? Is Dr. Forrester at home? 
I'm a colleague from Canada. It's very important that I talk with you. I'm sorry. Clayton's attending a special government conference. Can I help you? Is there some place that I could reach you? I'm afraid not. You haven't seen a little boy, have you? Brown hair, about so tall. He's probably in his secret hiding place. He won't even tell me where it is. No, I haven't seen him. I'm sorry to disturb you. So where to now? Wait here. It's a secret, you know. Yeah, I know. Mrs. Forrester is looking for you. She's really worried. I want to go home right now. I know why you come here. You do? I'm really sorry about your parents. I, I couldn't reach my mommy. There are so many people. I tried, I really tried. She just didn't come back. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. Your parents loved you more than anything else in the whole world. Harrison. I want to be with them. In heaven. You know, my parents died, too. They did? But... I keep something with me all the time to remind me of what they were like. Here. It's kind of a magic glass. If you look at it hard enough, you'll see anything that you want to see. And you'll always remember. short ten days ago that aliens landed on Earth. Thinking their invasion of success, the aliens were defeated by something. Even if we did find Forrester, we saw them die. he wouldn't have or believed us. Oh, yes, he would. He was like a father to me. Hiding near Linda Rosen. Our sources claim the area is surrounded by the military under the leadership of General Mann. General Mann, uh, General Mann, could you tell us about the reports that some aliens are still alive? Those reports are unconfirmed at this time. The only aliens we know of are dead. However, that doesn't rule out the possibility of survival. Harrison, come on, we're attracting too much attention. But General, our immediate goal is to clean up the last of the contaminated areas. We also want to get our hands on an alien warship. We're very anxious to learn their technology. But aren't the Russians doing the same thing? That's exactly the point. We have to get there first. Our national security could depend on it. This is General Mann. He led the defense forces. That's City Hall, Kincaid. That's about three blocks down there. He's the man we want to talk to. Come on. 
How long will the devastated area be sealed off? The area will remain under army control until we're absolutely sure it's safe. In fact, we haven't completed all our inspections yet. There seems to be more than a possibility that the army has a group of them surrounded. Can you comment on that? I can't answer that question at this time. Well, we have heard a great deal about radiation, General. Is it... There is no cause for fear. The perimeter of the contaminated area is under guard and radiation levels are constantly being monitored. But why are the press being kept away from the area, General? What is it that you don't want us to find out? You'll be advised when it's safe to proceed into the area. Yes, but you I'm afraid that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. The general has other appointments. Can we just get a picture? Yes, yeah, a picture, sir. Excuse me, sir. No, ma'am, sir. Kincaid, he's gone. Transportation. Kincaid. Hi, my name's Miranda Watts, and I wonder if I could speak with you for a minute. Come on. Oh, great, she's all we need. Sierra. Hi. Um, I noticed that you were over there at the General's conference, and I was just thinking that... Hey, wait, what the heck do you think you're doing? From Senator McCarthy's history. What do you mean? We don't have a lot of time to explain. We're from the future. Your future. We came back here through some kind of a time tunnel. Time tunnel, right? I know it sounds fantastic, damn it, but it's true. We don't know how we got here. We were following an alien. We think he came back here to link up with the alien fighters who landed here. Please, we've got to get to that government area before he does. We don't know what's going to happen if he links up with them. If you believe in the aliens, you damn well better believe in us. You're the only hope we've got. You must be crazy. Let him through. Pal. 
Come on, lady, out of the car. Come on, get out of the car. General, you've got to listen to me. An enemy agent has just gone through your checkpoint. He's an alien. What the hell do you take me for? I've seen dead Martians, thousands of them. Not one of them resembled a human being. Well, not where we're from. Oh, really? And where is that? From the future. <laughs> Look at that weapon. Technology for that has not been invented yet. Look at these clothes, General. Look at this. Wristwatch, digital, computerized. What about you? Are you from the future, too? Miranda Watson, City Sun Mirror, and you're violating the First Amendment by holding us like this. Miss Watson, you're under martial law here. And right now, the First Amendment is the last thing on my list. You've been arrested in a highly sensitive area with two lunatics claiming to be from the future and carrying weapons I never saw before. If you would call Dr. Clayton Forrester, he can clean this whole thing up. You haven't got much time. We had 12 hours to get this guy out. Now 10 of them are gone. I think you're Soviet agents with a highly creative story. Some fake ID and a couple of exotic guns. Look, I know this sounds ridiculous, but damn it, why don't you give us a chance to prove it to you? Put the cuffs on them and get them out of here. Hold them for interrogation. You know, nothing's different. Still the army. Does he think we dreamed all this up? What's gonna happen to me? Please, please, can you believe me? They kidnap me and force me all the way up here. Please, I don't, don't leave me alone with them! Hey! <gasps> Sorry! The keys! Get the keys! The FBI knew there were Soviet agents in my area. They should have told me from the start. That information was on a need-to-know basis, General. Is that right? Now let's get on with what I came here for. An alien mothership landed in this area. I want to be taken there right now. Oh, you do? Well, let me tell you how it is, Mr. Magruder. Only those with top security clearance can go beyond the inner checkpoint. That means the President of the United States and me. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, oh. Let no one pass.
This is a restricted area. Chief! General. Your blood is itself the serum against the illness. When I am finished, you must disperse. Each of you must find another enclave. Heal the fighters! Take these, inoculate the others. i 
didn't believe you. You haven't changed a bit. Do we know you? Ah, how quickly they forget. I've waited a long time to see how this story came out. You forgot your handkerchief. <laughs> Miranda. failed you. I await my punishment. I could not save the soldiers. I will. The future will be ours. Small stuff, and I was wondering if you want to teach me how to dance. 